Good morning. My name is Dean Jones. I'm with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. It's Monday. It's a beautiful day out. Um, I usually do Thursday videos, but we got snowed out last Thursday, so we're going to have a little bit of a double feature today. We're gonna, I'm going to do this Asada, and then afterwards, if you stay tuned, you can get Katie O'Neill on the, on the Dutch Star over there. Uh, but we're, what we're going to show today is a 2021 Dynamax Asada 528SS with the Explorer package. It's a really, really, really neat unit. I it was almost sad I wasn't going to do it last week, so that's why they put me on today. A uh, lot to go over here. It's a little unit. Its uh, length is 30 feet 10 inches total from bumper to bumper. It's got a height of uh, 12 foot 4 inches. The width on this guy is 8 feet and the interior height is 6 foot 10 inches. But we'll start over here on the front here. Um, this is on the Dodge 5500 um, heavy duty chassis. It's got a Cummins 67 diesel, turbo diesel with 360 horsepower, 800 foot pound of torque show you in here it's really clean little motor this has got 15,000 and change on it the, as far as miles but it's a nice little turbo diesel super clean really easy to check your oil your fluids here your washer fluid Pick your brake fluids over there so yeah just a real just simple heavy duty truck a lot, lot of power you do have a clear bra on this guy nice big recovery hooks uh, we'll work our way around this way uh, if you'll notice, this thing's it is a 4x4 chassis, really, really neat. Um, this is kind of an off-road uh, backwoods four-season camper. This is a true four-season RV, so we'll go over some of that in a minute. But as you can notice right off the bat, we've got a fiberglass front cap. Uh, it goes all the way around to the sides. So there's no screw track here. There's no points of failure on this curb here. Nice little transition strip. Uh, you'll notice this little guy. This right here is where you're going to fill your propane and your def. So a nice little hidden cubby. And if you ever want to shut off your propane, you can just hit this little switch right there. Really well thought out little compartment there. This just locks up real nice. You've got nice little side steps here. Beautiful paint job on this guy. Something to note that on this guy that you can't see from down here is it's got a full fiberglass roof, which is nice. It's got two 15,000 BTU air conditioners on it, which is really, really overkill on something this small, but it's really nice for, the, for those hot days. Uh, you do have a four camera system. This is one of them right here. This is your driver's side mirror, I mean camera. Then I'll just crawl under here. This is a really deep slide, but I have it out. What you've got here, I'll come around this toy. got your inverter right here. This has also got 800 watts of solar on the roof. And with that, you've got two solar charge controllers here. You've got your battery shutoffs. This is a lithium unit, but it also has a generator. It's a really neat all season coach. Here's your surge protector power switch. But everything's laid out real nice. You do have rotocast roto um, bays in here. So there's one piece bays. You're not going to have any leaks or anything like that in there. Really nice system down there. Shut this. And you can kind of hear that generator going because we have it going right now to power this guy. And that is right over here. It's an 8,000 watt quiet diesel generator. It powers off the, the fuel tank, which is a 52 gallon fuel tank for the Dodge side of it that actually powers this as well. This will power everything in the coach all at once. It's plenty of wattage. Uh, right here, you've got your hydraulics. It's got a four point equalizer hydraulic leveling system, automatic. You could also run that off your phone, which is pretty neat. I'll show you that inside. Nice Alcoa aluminum wheels on this guy. If you notice, it's not like your typical striped motorhome. It's got a really nice mountain scene. Um, I think it's just a gorgeous coach. Right here, you've got your diesel fill for that 52 gallon tank. You've also got a really nice 50 amp uh, shore power set up there. Now, this is kind of neat. You'll notice in the back here, you've got this bubble foil insulation on this. This is a true four season coach. You'll notice there's an auxiliary heater right here. 
if you want to, um, and you can actually take the temperature of this inside. There's a temperature um, on your Firefly in there. But this is your wet bay. You've got a nice outdoor shower with your sprayer. These are your gate valves that are inside. They're never gonna get cold and frozen if you have this heater on. And this also pumps heat in from the furnace. So that's, it's a dual system on how you heat this back bay. And it, your tanks are from here all the way to the other side. They're never gonna freeze on you. You've got your city water here and you can fresh fill it or go straight to your plumbing. You have your satellite and your, or your park cable inlets here, a waste flush. And these two here are just cold and hot water low point drains if you ever need to dump your system. Notice here you've got a Firefly multiplex in here. What's nice about that is you can actually turn the awning lights on, cargo lights, porch lights, uh, but you can actually turn on this heater from here. You can hit the water pump, say you want to winterize the coach. Um, you can start the generator and stop it from here, which is just really, really neat. As well as you can put this whole system on a phone app. I'll show you that inside too. You have a nice little sewer hose compartment right there. And these are all aluminum doors and they've got slam latches on them. Just a super cool little unit. Here you got your pass-through storage. I'm gonna, there's your shore power cord. And you can see through here, all rotorcast. You have a bunch of GFI outlets in here. Nice little lights, both sides. Access from both, all three sides of this compartment. Storage is key in these little guys, and this has got plenty of it. You'll notice there's a nice one-piece fiberglass cap back here. Uh, you do have two cameras up there. You, I don't know if you can see that, but one shooting back here on what's behind you, and one shooting right down here in case you wanted to hook anything up to this 10,000 pound hitch. And with that hitch, you do get a, a really nice seven pin, as well as a four pin for the little, if you have a little boat or you don't need the, the trailer brakes, you can just plug it in there. So it's a dual hook up there. You got plenty of LED lights all the way around. If you want to back into places, nice little spotlights there. Come around this way, you'll, we already showed you that side, but you do have more of that insulated, and you can kind of see up in here, you've got your nice tanks up here. But again, fully heated. You've got two different ways to heat this bay. This is where it comes into that four season that you just don't see. You've got Truma on-demand um, tankless water heater. This is gonna you know, give you those extended hot showers. Um, this has got an RV fridge in it. This is your access panel in here. This is your furnace and it's a 42,000 BTU furnace. It's just a monster. And this is one of those other rotorcast storage bays. So plenty of storage on this guy. Above your head, you've got a dual pitch 16 foot awning. It's got a wind sensor. I don't know if you can see it, but really nice lighting in here all the way down. Kind of lights this whole area up. And you get a little bit of wind out here and this thing will shut for you. You don't have to worry about it thrashing about or anything like that. Uh, you do have a TV mount. You can take the TV off your bedroom door, which we'll show you in a minute. Hang it here, plug it in here. You've got HDMI, which is, there's a splitter inside we'll show you. There's also uh, your cable outlet and you've got your nice little GF, CF, GFI over here. You do have a nice grab handle coming in and out. You also have keyless entry in this guy. But one thing I noticed about this coming in and out of it, is it's got a really heavy door. It's not a flimsy door that's gonna you know, rattle and shake over time. It's just a really nice, big, thick, insulated door. And this thing's got extra insulation in the floor, in the walls, and in the ceiling. It's, it's truly, truly meant to go out all four seasons. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show you, we talked about the lithium earlier. I don't know if you can see that, but you've got 400 amp hour lithium batteries in this guy. You got a Victron little sensor in there and it'll also go to your phone. Nice step, let's come in. So I think I'm gonna start in the back just cause it's a little tight in here. We'll work our way out and kind of show you some features. So I don't know if you can get that cabinet, Kyle. These are your, um, your little bedroom, his and her wardrobe. They are cedar lined. Uh, if you notice, those drawers are soft close. 
So you've got four drawers on the sides here, and they're soft close. Nice storage up top here. This is a nice dark wood in this guy. There's two different woods. There's kind of a lighter and a darker. But nice, good hardware in this guy. They stay open for you when you're loading and unloading. You've got nice little uh, reading lights here with USB ports. There's more USB ports in this guy than in some of our big diesel pushers. You've got two up top here, two here, two over there. You've got both plug-ins. Nice little cubby for your phone if you're charging it. And you even got a nice little cup holder right here. Because of your tanks are kind of sharing this whole space here, I don't see any sort of um, bed storage here. But it is a nice bed that doesn't have to open. There's no slide here. Whether you have your slide open or not, you come back here, take a nap, if you're like at a rest area or Walmart or something like that. Uh, nice windows on both sides for cross ventilation. You do have privacy curtains. Now, the coolest thing about this room, I, I love this, this feature here. If you get a look at this door, it's on a barn slider. And with that slider, this is that TV. The TV just kind of centers off in the room when you're watching it. It's just a beautiful system. I, I love how they did that there. You do have your Firefly here, and you've also have dimmers on this guy. I don't know if you can see that, but these Fireflies have dimmers on them, so you can actually get a little bit less lighting if you'd like. And we'll just go straight to the bathroom here. So this one's been winterized, that's why you have these parts here, and everything's down here. But this is the nice shower, full wraparound shower. It's not the biggest shower, but it is tall enough. I'm 6'1". Um, I could definitely get away with taking a shower in here. Got a nice little cubby here for shampoo and what have you. Glass door. You do have a ceramic toilet here. You can see that. Uh, you got your uh, push button flush. More USB ports. Nice little towel holder. Around here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a couple little hooks on both sides of the door. You can put towels or what have you. Here's a shot of your medicine cabinet. You've also got, you've got fantastic fans here and out front and a nice little skylight for headroom and for light. Uh, not a ton of counter space in this guy, but it is a smaller unit, but you can see a nice little sink here. It'll get the job done and some storage down here. So across the way here, I don't know if you can, if you want to, here, let's, uh, Let's change positions here. Come in this way to show you some of this stuff. It's kind of an extended pantry. This is actually here, I should have brought this out. This is an insulated privacy curtain. I'll show you where this goes. Really nice to keep the cold air from the cab from getting in your, your coach here. These are adjustable shelves. These are all your manuals right here. And this is your, uh, your breaker panel. Right there, there's your 110, and there's some fuses down there if you need them. This is a nice little pantry though, I like this part. Nice little pull out drawers, real deep for canned goods. You got three of those bad boys. And nice little drawer here. Those are soft clothes. So this is the only option this one came with. This is a, a nine cubic foot propane and electric refrigerator. The electric feature is nice. You can actually just put it on electric. As you're going down the road, your alternator goes through your inverter. Uh, it keeps it all cold so you don't have to have your propane system on when you're traveling. Keeps everything nice and cool. You do have a nice convection oven. Not the biggest one they make, but it's definitely adequate for a coach this size. So this is what we were talking, I talked about that HDMI outside. This is your splitter for that. So if you wanted to um, plug anything in here, you can make it go to your TV, both TVs, um, TV outside. This is how you would manage that, that HDMI system throughout the coach. That's where they put it. You do have a nice little glass backsplash here, with the three burner propane stove.
Nice kitchen window, that's nice for the campsite. You also have nice little night lights here. Here's your, some of your remotes and uh, the parts. This thing really hasn't been used that much. It's got 15,000 miles on it, but the inside is just really, really clean. Nice little deep pot and pan drawer. Uh, you got a double sink here with a nice sprayer, residential faucet. This is your tower of power. Does have more US, this is like I said, this has got more USB ports than one would ever need. Um, put three outlets there and those two USBs, and it just tucks away real nice here. Um, down here you have more storage. The neat part about this little countertop is it is solid surface, it's got a nice little light in here. Uh, you do have more counter extension here, and right here's your trash can. You put a little trash can here, and you can just use that to kind of fill it up. So that's the galley. Let's go back to the hallway real quick. I wanted to show you a couple of things. So this is your, uh, you do have a manual button for your slide out. It's a real deep slide out for that dinette. However, you can also power it right here. You can open it. There it goes. You can actually download an app in this guy and, uh, and run this whole coach with your phone. You can do the EQ Smart Level app as well and do your 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 uh, leveling system with it. This is also, this is kind of your uh, your Victron energy gauge for those four lithium batteries. Uh, you can actually download an app and look at that from your phone as well. So you can completely go um, cellular phone management on this guy. Uh, here's another remote for your fantastic fan that kind of exhausts any hot air in here or uh, many cooking you know stuff up there. Uh, you also do have a recirculating vent in this microwave that kind of takes care of that as well. Uh, really nice lit ca cabinet up here with the glass fascia in here. And you've got a little bit more storage there. You notice right here on the door, you come in, you do have another one of those Firefly Optiplexes. You do have a, a battery disconnect. If I hit that, I'll shut the whole coach off and you have a step lock. So if you don't want those steps coming in and out every time you open the door, you just hit that and it'll stay open. More USB ports. And then coming over here, you've got more USB ports. <laughs> Two there, GFI there. You've got a little bit of a storage here, or countertop and storage here. Another grab handle. Now on your overhead sleeper, you've got the TV. You can pop this little strap. It'll come out here. You can watch it from anywhere in this, this area. You do have a curtain for privacy. But what's neat about this cap is you've got AC vents. This is blowing hot air right now, but uh, you've got these vents in here. So when this is cut, you still get your, your HVAC in this area. You notice these mats are here. Uh, this actually came with really nice weather tech floor mats in there. But getting a shot here, you've got more USBs there, another outlet. That sound bar you can actually hook your phone into. It's a Bluetooth sound bar as well. That privacy curtain I showed you, that just pops on these little Velcro discs and it just kind of keeps this whole thing from letting any air in. And this also has these, these shields that kind of suction cup to the, the windows. So if you want to put these on the windows and your curtain, you're going to get double the, the insulation. Uh, you do have a nice opening window over here. And again, you do have the nightshades. So you can open this up and get some ventilation in here. And that's your switch for these two lights. Now with this guy, you can actually pop this cushion on top of this one, push it back, and you got a little bit more easy entry in and out of this, this coach. You'll notice from the back of these seats, these have been upholstered to match the dinette over here. This also has a ladder that just kind of hooks on right here to get it up and down in your bed. And it also has, for little ones, a nice little rail if you're worried about little guys rolling off in their sleep there. Now with all Super C's, it's not the easiest thing to get in and out of there, but with this moved over, it's a lot easier than most. Um, I'll show you the cab in a minute. But we'll show you the dinette area. You do have, you'll notice more of that nice hardware, keeps everything open while you're loading it and unloading it. There's a, a different uh, light shade for this guy. 
you wanted something a little bit less transparent. You do have a dinette. This is the dinette option. It actually makes a bed down here. What's really neat about this one is how they have, they use all that storage in there. Really easy to get to. You're not pulling drawers out. You just really put a lot of stuff in there. And that's on both sides. And you do have seat belts on both sides. And if you notice, it's a really deep slide. It's a gear driven um, three foot slide. Really opens it up nicely. Um, you do have cross ventilation in this guy and you have windows here that open. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go around to the driver's side and show you some features of the cab. I don't know if you can get a shot of those weather techs, but they're those la laser fit really nice all weather mats on this guy. It is a push button start. You do have auxiliary switches if you wanted to put light bars, that sort of thing on here. It's got a big Uconnect screen, but I'm gonna show you the camera on this guy. So you have four channels and they're always on. So you can see what's on the right side, on the left side what's behind you and what's right there with your toe in. It's a really cool system. It's really easy to use, it's just automatic. You're not worried about blinkers and that kind of thing. It's just, you always see what's going on with this guy. This also has, I don't know if you can see the dash, I have it set on here because I think this is a cool feature. It's got a tire, tire pressure monitoring system just from the factory, from the Dodge side of the things. It's also got uh, adaptive cruise mitigation, or collision mitigation, a lot of those features. And the last thing I'll show you is it comes with a factory um, trailer braking system on it, which is really nice. You don't have to go get that thing you know, mounted down here, but it's just a real comfortable uh, cab. If you've driven a heavy duty truck, you can drive this guy. Uh, but we're gonna talk about some of the stuff on here. Um, I talked, it is a 30 foot, 10 inch length, 12 four high, uh, eight foot wide. It's got a 217 inch wheelbase. Uh, what's really neat about this guy, and I'll, I'll point this out here, um, your dry weight's 16,203 pounds. But this payload, because it's got such a high GBWR of 19.5, has got 2,789 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. That's a lot of people, a lot of water, a lot of food. You can load this thing up however you want it, leave the house, not worry about not worry about uh, you know how much weight you got. A lot of people wait till they get to where they're going to get water. You don't have to do that with this guy. It's going to keep it warm. It's going to keep the water from freezing. And you, like I said, almost 3,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity is almost unheard of. Um, you've got 52 gallons of fuel, 78 gallons of fresh water, 45 gallons of black, and 45 gallons of gray. And you've got a big 86-pound tank for the propane. Um, this has got disc brakes all the way around. Your AC is 30,000 BTUs between the two 15,000 uh, BTU air conditioners, front and back, um, 42,000 BTU in the heater, um, 10,000 pound hitch, 8,000 watts of solar, and 400 amp hours of lithium on this guy. The chassis has got 360 horsepower and 800 foot pound of torque. And it is a six-speed ISN transmission. So it's just, this transmission is not an Allison, but it's still, this is supposed to pull just a ton. And it's just, that's where you're getting some of that cargo carrying capacity. So the stock number on this guy is 5U221640. Um, if you have any questions about it that I didn't answer, please feel free to reach out and get me. Um, you can call me or text me at 720-347-7063. Uh, or you can email me at dean.jones at transwest.com. Thanks for uh, checking out this Asada with me, and we'll see you next time.